Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain, and we're looking at one of the all-time favorite city of tweaks called Barrel. If you've been around the jailbreak community a while, I'm sure you are aware that a lot of people really enjoy using this. You can get it in the Big Boss repo for $2.99, and let me show you a little bit about what it does. One that's probably the most visible here is called the Fade Away Curl and Fade Away, I think it is. Um, page curl and fade away is what I'm looking for. Curl and roll away. All right. What it does when you swipe through your icons, as you can see, they curl and roll on the screen, and it's a pretty cool effect. A lot of people really enjoy it. Change that little icon up there to a Superman. It's by using this free tweak here called Zeppelin. It's in the Mod My Eye repo, and it is free. And there's several different ones you can change it to. Let me show you some of the options that's available. Scroll down here to Zeppelin. And let me back out here so I can get a better shot for you guys. I don't want to go way back because I want you to be able to see the the icons. Anyway, you got to enable it. Here's the theme I've chosen is uh, Superman. So if you want Abstergo, you see that's up there. Android, Apple, that's my favorite. Uh, Batman, you see the list. Nike, Triforce, Windows. Let's put it back on Apple. That's sort of my favorite. It looks really nice, guys. As you can see right there, it is on the springboard. It's free, grab it. And this is application gets or tweak gets its name from a deadly spider they see. They give a little bit of a description about it in Cydia if you want to read that. But it's got a lot of different settings that you can go in and modify if you want to turn off or turn on different things such as ask before quitting. Let's turn that on. Exclude active apps. Uh, let's turn that off exclude active app exclude active recording app so if you're recording I guess using the screen recorder or something it won't close it on you and if you want to exclude any application on your device you can simply come in here and turn any of these on that you don't want to turn or quit in the background let me show you what it is I'm talking about if you open your app switcher look how cool this, this uh, animation is now if you flip up look how cool that is this is a dock tweak and what it does is it puts more um, I guess you could say opacity behind your your dock and we have the tweak enabled in here and if we go in here to the set to the selection of uh, styles you see there's a long list of different things here's transparent so let me show you what it looks like it doesn't require a respring so awesome. now let's go back in here and change it to uh, dark milk glass opaque and it's darker I sort of like that one myself so this one is called dock shift and it is free and you can get it I think in Big Boss it's one of the primary repos so you shouldn't have any problems grab it I think you'll really enjoy it it'll add a little bit of personality to your iOS device please hit that thumbs up subscribe and keep coming back you can see here I don't have that today tomorrow and missed and all that stuff up here at the top on my lock screen those are that is gone now so let me show you what I'm talking about that's not what I'm talking about here's the notification center let me pull it down again and you can see right here I don't have anything there because I cleared it all off for this video but normally you would have today missed and tomorrow or something like that on there I believe is what it was anyway people were getting really frustrated trying to use it I guess so now we have a tweak that brings it back to just what's available to you right now so if that's something you can use it is free you can grab it we're going to be looking at a new tweak just released from Ryan Patrick 
called Flip Control Center. This is available for free in the Ryan Patriots repo. I will have that repo address for you in the description below. You will have to add a repo. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and let me show you what this does. <clears throat> It is a control center tweak and you can see when I pull up my control center here on the top bar I can simply just swipe through all the different controls that I have and I can turn on and off anything that I don't want to use just from right here and you see it's just if there's something in here you don't want on that top bar say we didn't want the VPN in there we could just simply pick it up and drag it down here to the disabled at the bottom now when we open up our control center the VPN option is not there as you can see it's gone and it doesn't require a respring either so you may also go in here and change the the uh, the number of, tw of options that's on each page you see now it's set on five if we were to set it to two now let's pull it up and look at it you see we only got two options on each page so you know that's not very feasible but it's just for the uh, review anyway so you guys can see what I'm doing and suppress from lock screen these will not be on your app switcher I'm sorry not the app switcher but control center if you are on the lock screen and open up control center you see here now any of those that you have checked off will be disabled from here so today we're looking at hidden settings 7 we did a previous video on uh, a city of tweak like this called uh, I think it was hidden SB settings and this one is a little bit different however this one is a lot easier to get you don't have to add any repos or anything it's in the big boss repo and you can go in here and you still get the little springboard setting pop up right here on there now when we go in here we can change all the different animations on our phone we can do things with the folders you see I've got pinch to close enable let's try that out and see how that works if I go in here and open this folder up and I pinch to close now that you see that's working uh, you may notice I have the animation speeds increased on here as well and you can do that simply by going in here go to the bottom where it says animation overrides and you can increase or decrease your animations right here check it out guys it's called hidden settings 7 I think you'll really enjoy it swipe selection this is by I Cal number one Cal Howls I guess you could say and it's this is free also and what this does it allows you to select your text much easier I have a grocery list or Walmart list here I've started and if you see here where my cursor is right now it is at the end and if you see I'm swiping over the letters and my icon is actually moving let me see if I can't get a little bit better view here for you guys okay now as I swipe back over you see it's much easier to position my cursor if I want it right beside the P and shampoo look how much easier that is okay so this one here is going to help save your jailbreak it's called Sa software update killer this will keep you from accidentally updating your firmware whenever Apple pushes out a new iOS you know you can update over the air which you know that's not so good at times I guess you think it, it can be good but if you're not careful then you'll get your jailbreak taken away from you but if you install this this actually will dim out that process you won't be able to have that option available you go in here to software updates and you see this here just sits and spans it's called checking for updates nothing will ever happen right there it'll just continue doing that it keeps you from accidentally updating grab it this is a must 
we're looking at activator this is in beta so you may get a pop-up that says that there could be some problems just you know hit ok and hopefully there won't be any but anyway this is by Ryan Patridge he's one of the top developers in the jailbreak community and activator lets you set up anything you can imagine using gestures on your iPhone or iPad iOS device in general and I have set up to take a screenshot simply by holding my status bar and you'll see the screen flash when it takes it and that was that simple to do rather than holding the home button and the power button together to get that screenshot you can simply just hold the status bar and you can set it however you want to do it I mean you don't have to use the status bar you can go into settings to activator I go into anywhere and then you see you got all these different things you can use here all these different gestures uh, if you want to use uh, any of these just simply set whatever it is you want them to do uh, I have mine set down here on the status bar there's a whole list of them here right here you can double tap double tap the left side the right side hold left hold right single tap there's just a number of different things you can do and if you want to go into double tap you see there's nothing assigned here you can even get your music to play so now when I double tap the status bar my music will come on it should there you go so let me turn that off so you see you can set up a number of things with activator mm -hmm. so guys play around with it have fun with it it's a very useful tweak and as always keep coming back